I'm Christian Harloff. Oh, sorry guys, and I'm Tiffany Smith, and this is a very special edition of our show. This is where we start our countdown to the release of Star Wars The Force Awakens. And who better to help us do that? It's Mark Ellis. And we are T minus 15 days away from the release of The Force Awakens. Ooh, and this is Movie Threesome. Obviously, there is a ton we could talk about, especially with the three of us here. Star Wars is a topic that we could talk about for hours. But what I really want to do is go back to the very beginning. I like that. Right? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not talking about going back to A New Hope. I want to go back in time to when all the craziness for The Force Awakens started, okay? So come bum, with bum, me now. Ba, dun, dun. Three dun, years dun, dun, ago, dun, 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 stop it. Oh. Hello, guys. <laughs> Stop it. This is the first thing we've got. Ah, uh, well done. Some Mickey Mouse ears. Well, actually, they're mini ears. Back in October of 2012, that's when Disney bought Lucasfilm. What was that day like for you guys? Called him immediately, and I said, we've got to shoot a video and yep. let everybody know it is time yeah. for a new Star Wars movie. Yeah, and like I remember hearing about it, and then my mind was not comprehending just how much this meant. It was like the first time a guy looks at a Playboy. Like, you can't comprehend right. how awesome the rest of your life is going to be. Is Luke coming back? <laughs> is Han coming back? And who's going to direct this thing? You know, it's funny you bring up the director because in November of 2012, there were all these rumors circulating about who's going to be directing the movie, right. and I happen to have some of the films by those auteurs. Steven Spielberg is rumored to be doing it. He also did a great flick called Jaws. Neil Blomkamp, the guy who did District 9. Alfonso Cuaron, who did Gravity. What would that movie look like? Matthew Vaughn, Darren Aronofsky, Joss Whedon, and I'm sorry, I do not have a Colin Trevorrow movie here because I don't think Jurassic World's out on Blu-ray. Yet. Okay, and then January 2000. 13 comes on and we do get a director and it happens to be the guy who said nah I'm not interested JJ <laughs> Abrams and he was best known for Alias as well as Super 8 and the last two Star Trek films after you hear he was announced you go that makes perfect yep. sense look at his Star Trek movies they feel like Star Wars okay I got my point across and I put down my movies why are you holding your movies well actually I was gonna work out a trade I got Chappie for Alias that works but how about one more movie for Tiffany to take those mouse hairs off her head <laughs> <laughs> then we heard in February of 2013 that the original three were going to be back. We were going to get Luke, Han, and Leia back. Carrie Fisher was confirmed, Mark Hamill was confirmed, and obviously Harrison Ford. And that was huge. And in June of 2013, we learned that there was an open casting call looking for unknown actors who would later turn out to be Daisy Ridley and John Boyega. July of 2013, they did announce somebody. It was John Williams himself. I will say it was a little bit of a surprise. I thought that Michael Giacchino, Giacchino, who is J.J. Abrams' number one guy. So when he was announced, bravo. In August 2013, the DP, Daniel Mandel, announced that yes, it would be shot on 35 millimeter film, which I think all of us gave like a sigh of relief and excitement when we heard that news. So then in October of 2013, we heard that Michael Laurent was no longer gonna be writing the script. It was in fact gonna be J.J. Abrams and some dude named Lawrence Kazdan, who also helped out in the original trilogy. This here is the actual script for The Force Awakens. That's totally not the real script. No, it totally is. J.J. Abrams and Lawrence Kazdan crossed Michael Arndt's name out. And we're like, no, this is ours now. <laughs> the reason I know that that's not one of the real scripts is because the actors talked about the fact that when they got them, it was red paper with black writing, so that way people couldn't Xerox it or pass the secrets of The Force Awakens on. You mentioned the script and how locked down the secret it was. It almost seemed like a secret of, when is this movie coming out? In November 2013, we finally got a release date. It was December 18th, 2015. I like Best Christmas present! Hat. You like it? <laughs> Christmas time, baby. I think it was a good move, give him enough time, and it's also gonna set new, I, I just knew ground, uh, just farts. <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna set, set new, farts. <laughs> new farts. It's gonna set a new precedent as far as this movies coming out mm -hmm. in December. I think it's gonna be a brand new stomping ground. Well, I think you look at things like the Lord of the Rings movies and... Uh... <laughs> Do you look like a Santa that I would never let my kid sit on his lap? April 2014, the table oh, read not... photo came out. I obviously have this framed on my wall next to my bed. Not since the Last Supper painting have I been so concerned about the placement <laughs> of individuals at a table. It's so much fun to look at that picture, especially now, because that came out yeah, last year. And insane. now you know a little more, like, there's Kylo Ren. I didn't know who Kylo Ren was. I know yep. all these things. Finn, we didn't know Kylo. any of that looking at it. <laughs> and then piggybacking off that, in May 2014 is when production actually began in Abu Dhabi. They actually
actually did this for the very first time. Oh my God, that's so cool doing that. And then one of the things they did early on in production is they did that Force for Change videos. There was a partnership with UNICEF. They raised a ton of money and one person actually won the opportunity to do what we don't want to do. I want to do it. be in a Star Wars movie. I want to movie. go to the set. Yeah, you do? Yeah. I want to go to this set. I just don't want to be on film because then everybody would be like, why is that one Jedi scratching his butt? That's I don't want to see Mark scratching his butt in any form. No, I just, I use the Force. I just have planet. a stick come around there and I just, yeah. Yeah, some all. guy go, I will finish what you started. <laughs> You're disgusting. There's been an awakening and it's itchy. Then another awesome thing happened in September of 2014. There was the video of the Millennium Falcon with the Batmobile underneath <laughs> of it. So it was so much fun because there's this little like banter between Zack Snyder and J.J. Abrams and I still ask, will the Batmobile actually be on the Millennium Falcon in the movie? I don't know. I'm Kylo Ren. I will finish what you started. Well, finishing what we started <laughs> is wrapping production. That actually happened in November 2014, which is when we started to see some promotional stuff for The Force Awakens. J.J. Yeah. Abrams and R2-D2 appeared on the John Oliver show and okay. they got slapped by a giant fish. You want to see what it feels like? Boom. Look at that. I've wow. already done that to him. <laughs> we also got the title of the movie, The Force Awakens, and then uh, maybe a week or two after that, we got the first official trailer, that teaser that blew up the internet on Black Friday. April of this year, 2015, it was Star Wars Celebration. It was the most fun I've ever had in my awesome. entire life. And because there were rumblings of a new trailer. It felt like a concert, man. And J.J. Abrams and Kathleen Kennedy, they were all out on stage, and then they played it. And I'm not lying, I teared. You teared up, well, I was weeping, You are grabbing my shoulders and going like this. There's a great picture yeah. of us, it's just our candid reaction, yeah. where we just couldn't believe how great that was. Yeah. When you saw Han Solo and Chewie and they're back in the Millennium Falcon, I am bawling like a baby and could not have been happier. It runs and then everyone's like, play it again, play it again. And they were like, yep, yeah. go again. Yeah. And Star Wars yeah. is also great at giving the fans what they want. And in July 2015 at Comic-Con, they didn't have any new footage to show us. So they decided to show us a behind the scenes thing and that might've been cooler than any of the trailers. And yep. I got to watch it at Hall H at Comic-Con. And I got one of these too. In September 2015, brand new toys came out, baby. <laughs> Who's this guy? Look at that, look at the stormtrooper, how different that they look. I invaded a target on Force Friday, <laughs> and you're right, look at all the new things. And you yeah. got to see Lego and all the cool stuff they're doing. That was a huge day. So we were kind of grasping at straws for little bits of information, but when we finally got a little something on. Monday Night nice, Football, like baby. <laughs> we got the first full trailer, and up to this time, yes, we've gotten trailers, but they were all teaser trailers. This one gave us a little story, not too much, but just enough. One of the really smart things that they did was not showing that trailer, then tickets went on sale yep. like that. It broke the internet. I felt like Charlie Bucket and Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory running around my golden ticket yeah. that I got on Fandango, by the way. And in November of 2015, we got an international trailer, which is something we weren't really expecting. Yeah. We weren't preparing for it for weeks, but we got a lot of new footage and a lot of shots of this little dude, BB-8, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be under every Christmas tree in the world. Well, there you have it. We are almost there. We are super excited. Comment below, tell us any milestones that we might have missed. Anything in the timeline that we forgot to talk about? Go yeah, ahead. I mean, like, we didn't talk about the video games. We didn't talk about Battlefront. We didn't talk about the comics. We didn't talk about the <laughs> <laughs> novels that came I'm out. talking we about the fans, the fans. About Let's more, just like, end the show. A big thank you to Mark Ellis for completing our movie threesome and talking Star Wars with us. Make sure you guys follow him every week on Schmoes No and follow him on Twitter at 5150 Ellis. Where else can people find you, Ellis? Uh, on Collider Jedi Council. And December 17th through the 20th, I'll be at the Tempe Improv telling jokes and then going to see Star Wars right after. Watch more episodes of this show right here and subscribe right there. And then download the Fandango Movie Clips app on your smartphones. And then join us next week on Movie, Movie Threesome! Threesome!